Bismillah, wassalat wassalam ala Rasulillah. Hello everyone, today we're going to start our second lesson which is entitled Making Questions. Making Questions. This means how we can construct questions. The objectives of the objectives of this lesson are the following. First, identifying question types and word order. Second, we are going to talk about or the students will be able to write grammatically correct questions. And here we want to focus on using the type of questions that ask about locations. When we ask about locations, we use the WH question were to ask about location. Okay? Now, we need to know that questions in English are of two types. Questions are of two types. Type one is yes, no questions and these questions require yes, no answer only and the second type of question is called information questions. Information questions and we call them information questions because the answer cannot be merely or only yes or no they require us to give further information and cannot be answered only by saying yes or no now with regard to information questions these questions usually start with w h words but because we are talking about WH words that ask about location, then we are going to talk about were, how we use were in constructing questions. Now, let's start by giving the word order of WH questions. W H question order. This means how words come together to form a correctly uh, grammatically correct question. First, we start with the W H word, which could be what were etc or any other wh word then we have number two after wh word we have the auxiliary verb and then we have the subject and after that we end the question with a question mark to indicate that this is a question for example let's say I have a sentence and this sentence is my books are on the desk if I want to ask a question 
about this phrase this prepositional phrase what do we say if you want to apply this rule this formula which is wh word plus auxiliary plus the subject and then question mark we are going to say we are going to use where of course because we are asking about place where and we use the auxiliary which is are and your books and question mark notice please that we use are with plural subjects and we use is with singular subject okay is that clear now if we want to give another example we can give a sentence and then form a question for that let's say Ali is at school this is a sentence and I want to ask about at school what do we say as usual we start with the WH word which asks about location so we say where auxiliary is and the subject is Ali and the question mark that's all about question making using the WH word where to ask about location thank you very much my students thanks for your careful listening and see you in next lessons thank you very much